Hello, so if you are finding yourself in this video, I'm assuming that you've managed to get everything textured. Um, so in mind, I've managed to get this very cool looking um, metalwork floor, nice metal texture on the floor. And then if we have a look at the, the ceiling, uh, randomly I've chosen concrete and wood for that, because why not? Uh, right, so now that we've done that, we're ready to create our first render of this scene which is a high quality image that's output um, when you tell it to render okay so that's output as a digital image file before we do that we need to make sure that we know which portion of the screen is going to be rendered and we do that by um, displaying the resolution gate to do that make sure that your perspective view is active um, click on view in your panel menu then in camera settings you want resolution gate bosh there we go and this square here that has um, emerged is the portion of the screen that will be rendered when we tell the scene to render. So if I move that, this portion here won't, won't be within the render that we create because that's outside of that square. So now what I'm going to do is to just try and create an interesting view of my room. So I'm going to try and get these planets in the foreground pretty cool get some boxes in the background like that getting nice and close now it's important to make sure that your camera is inside the room so if you turn your camera around um, that's not exactly what I was hoping for to be honest um, if you turn your camera around um, it shouldn't go through the wall so if I render in a sec and it goes all great it's because I've not got my camera within the, um, the confines of the wall when you render the walls are not see-through Okay, so let's just move it down a little bit so I can get some of the projector in shot. I think that looks nice. Okay, so I framed that up. Um, and now what we're going to do to render this scene is up here we've got a selection of different clapperboards. This first one here renders the scene. We're not going to um, change any settings yet. That'll come later. So just for now, give that a click. This one, it takes a few seconds depending on the speed of your computer and then it renders the scene out and you should be able to see that everything looks um, a higher quality than it does here. This is just preview quality. This is throwing all the um, computational power that you've asked at this scene. So the colors are smoother, the shadows, um, although we've not turned actual shadows on yet, the shade on the shapes is much better. Um, so there we go, that's how to render a scene. I'll catch you in the next video.